Hey, it's Zach with 247 Hockey. And here in this series of videos, we're gonna go through proper shooting technique. Now we're gonna cover the snapshot, the wrist shot, the slap shot, and the backhand. Very, very important when you're doing these drills. Everything that we're doing has to have the proper technique. Technique and shooting mechanics are what's gonna help you take your shot from good or from average to great is practicing with the proper mechanics. If you practice over and over again and you're using bad habits or bad mechanics, sure you're gonna make improvements, but the proper mechanics is what's gonna help you accelerate and really get that accuracy, quick release, and shot power. So here we're gonna go through each section, each shot, and we're gonna talk about proper mechanics. Okay, so here we're going through the proper shooting mechanics for the snap shot and the wrist shot. Just gonna talk about it real quickly here, just a refresher. Main key that we're gonna, we're gonna talk about always is your hands, getting your hands away from your body. The reason for that is if your hands are in close to your body here, you're using just your bottom hand to shovel the puck or to try to get momentum off the puck. You're just using your bottom hand. If you use your top hand and get it away from your body and both your hands work together, what's gonna happen is when this top hand pulls back, you can see I'm starting to get that flex on my stick. Okay, my top hand is pulling back and I'm starting to get that flex on my stick. Now, if I rotate my bottom hand through, as my top hand pulls out, that's what's gonna create that whipping motion that's really, really gonna give you the power that you're looking for. And what that does is that gives you the ability to get a quick release. Because here, if my hands are out, and my hands are working together, and I release that puck, I'm gonna be able to get a quick release compared to having to bring my stick all the way back here to generate that power. I just get my hands out, use my top hand snaps back to my hip, my bottom hand snaps through, and that's how I'm generating my quick release. So here I'm gonna show you a couple times just in full speed, okay? My hands are out away from my body, my top hand's gonna snap back to my hip, my bottom hand's gonna snap through, okay? Look at this, my hands are away from my body, top hand snaps back, bottom hand snaps through, and that's really gonna create that flex on your stick. Compared to just using that bottom hand, if my top hand's in here, and I'm just using that bottom hand, I'm not getting in much power. This is where you're generating your power from. That's how you generate that quick release, that NHL shot. The next thing that I want you to focus on is where that puck is on your stick. So ideally, you wanna have that puck in the top third of your stick here. You don't wanna have the puck back here. You wanna have that puck on the top third of your stick. And what that's gonna allow you to do, okay, again, talking about putting leverage and flex on your stick. If the puck is on that top third, it's gonna allow you to get a little leverage and a little pressure on your stick. Versus if it's on the heel, you're not gonna get much pressure. So here, if it's on the toe, I'm gonna to allow myself to lean in a little bit, get my hand out, and generate that quick release. Okay, so here, on the toe, hands out, leaning in, I'm generating that quick release. So getting that puck on the toe of your stick is really gonna allow you to get your hands through, your wrist through, and generate that quick release. The last thing we're gonna talk about here is just bringing that puck and where it is set up in coordination to your body. So when you're taking a snapshot or you're taking a wrist shot, you don't wanna to have to bring the puck all the way back here like that, okay? You should be able to release that puck from right in here, focusing on getting your hands out away from your body, okay? getting that puck on the toe of your stick, and then getting that good quick release. Here, puck's right in the middle of my stance. All right, my hand's out, puck's on the toe, and I'm getting that good quick release. Those are the techniques you need to focus on to get a good quick release, to use the flex of your stick, get leverage, and generate a hard shot with power, accuracy, and a quick release. And those are the three keys to taking a good snapshot. Hey, it's Zach with 24-7 Hockey, and this is going to be the slap shot technique. I really want you to focus on proper technique when you're taking a slap shot. Too many times, players take a huge windup, which is unnecessary. Not only is it unnecessary, but you're actually gonna be counterproductive because you're not gonna generate that much more power. Shots are gonna get blocked. Goalies are gonna be ready. So when you're taking a slap shot, release is the key. Now, when you're focusing on your release, your release starts as soon as you start to take your stick back. So as soon as you start to take your stick back, that's your release. It's not coming down and releasing through. So when I have the puck here, as soon as I start to take my stick back, that's my release. So if I go here and shoot, I'm gonna have a little bit quicker release. If I come up to my shoulders and shoot, my release is gonna take a little bit longer. And then if I go above my shoulders up here, it's gonna be even longer. And you do not need to have a really high 
backswing on your slap shot. You're going to actually generate enough power right here from your hip. So I really want you to focus on that. The next thing I want to focus on is that you're actually going to hit the ground of the, right about two inches behind the puck. This is where you're going to make contact with the puck right about two inches behind. What that's going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to get that extra flex on your stick and then you're just going to release through. So here I'm going to back, hit the ground, I'm getting that flex and then I'm releasing through. The third thing that I want you to focus on is your hands. Again, just like the snapshot, okay, when you're coming in and you're hitting the ground, your hands have to be out away from your body because then when those hands snap in and your bottom hand snaps out, that's what's going to generate that power. So as I come down, I hit the ground, my bottom hand is here in front of the puck, all right? I'm not, like, I'm not hitting the ground like this here. I have to create that leverage, so my bottom hand is in front of the puck, my top hand is out, and then as I release, my bottom hand snaps out, my top hand snaps into my body, and that's creating that whipping motion and generating that energy stored up in your stick. So I'll just show you a couple demonstrations here. So I'm going to bring it back, my hips, and then through. You don't need a big backswing to generate a hard slap shot. Just right here, then through. All right, so you don't need a big backswing to generate power from your slap shot. Well, what are we focusing on? We're focusing on a backswing that's right at our hips, a good quick release on the slap shot. We're focusing on hitting the ground about an inch to two inches behind the puck to generate some energy and flex in our stick. And then we're focused on getting our top hand and our bottom hand in front of the puck. Bottom hand rotates out, top hand rotates in to use all that energy that's stored in your stick. Now you're gonna get that extra whip and generate power with a short backswing and a quick release. All right, so here we're gonna go through the backhand technique. Very, very important. The backhand can be an extremely effective shot, but it's also a very misunderstood shot, misused shot. Okay, too many players try to take a big extension on their backhand and a big follow through release on their backhand. And it just should be a very, very quick release shot, keeping your stick blade low to the ice. Here's some tips for you when you're taking your backhand, focus on proper technique. One, you wanna have that puck right on your heel of your blade, okay? Two, when you release, you don't wanna roll your hands over, all right? What you're gonna do there is you're just gonna create that puck that flutters. When you're taking a backhand, you wanna have that puck right on the heel of your stick and you're just gonna release with your stick blade open. And it's gonna be a really quick motion and you're gonna keep your stick low to the ice. All right, that's gonna allow you to generate more power from your shot. So here, the puck's on your heel. You're gonna have a very quick motion and you're gonna release it right about your front foot. So you're gonna start it at your back foot and you're gonna release it right about your front foot and you're just gonna keep your stick blade open. So here we go, pucks me on the heel, release it with the stick blade open. And you're just sweeping that puck really quickly. We don't wanna go all the way back here, come all the way forward with this big long release and follow through. It's gonna to take too much time, you're not gonna generate enough power. You want that backhand to be released quickly, you wanna keep your stick blade low to the ice, and you actually don't wanna roll your wrists over when you're taking the backhand. Those are the backhand techniques.